from one friend. Okay, so hopefully you have clicked on me right here and that's why you see this because this is our last required video for our ocean animals writing, okay? And what we had was we first listened to a story read out loud to us by the teacher. Then second, we watched the teacher make a double bubble just like we would in class, only in class you guys would have helped me come up with those things, but I showed you my process. And some of you may have made your own double bubble, which would be fabulous. But if you didn't, that's okay. That part was not required because you have my double bubbles to look back at, right? So I made the double bubbles. So step one, listen to the teacher, read the story. Step two, watch the teacher make the double bubbles comparing the walrus to the California sea lion comparing and contrasting what do they have in common and what's different okay so now we have this wonderful chart then we come here and you clicked on me good job we always have to watch the videos then i have given you some sentence frames the sentence frames are to help you i wrote walruses and sea lions both have that is a sentence for the center, right? So if I come back over here, both have flipper feet, both have whiskers. They don't both have marine mammals. They both are marine mammals. So I could write that. So if I wanted to write, so what I'm, if I wanted to write a sentence using this, I could write walruses and sea lions both have, and I might write, flipper feet, right? I could write that, flipper feet. Or I could write walruses and sea lions both have whiskers, right? And if I don't know how to spell them, I can go back here, whiskers, right? Then I have to choose one thing that sea lions don't have. I'm going to say sea lions don't have tusks. And then I'm going to say walruses. Oops. And then I'm going to make another sentence. And guess what? Who has tusks? Walruses have tusks. Remember what tusks were? Those were those big, long teeth that they used to dig up clams. So I said, walruses have tusks. So I said, sea lions do not have tusks. Walruses have tusks. And that's, actually, I'm going to leave it where it says walruses have for you guys because I think that will help you. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go like this. Walruses have, and then you could put tusks, right? Sea lions do not have tusks. Was there something that sea lions have that walruses do not have? I remember walruses do not have ear flaps, right? Sea lions have ear flaps. So I'm going to say here, sea, sea lions have, and then I'm going to make my space for you. So here's what I have done. I have given you five sentence frames, right? Walruses and sea lions both have. And I'm going to erase whiskers right here. You don't need that there. So you can write walruses and sea lions both have whiskers or both have flipper feet. Or you can say they both have babies, right? Something like that. Then sea lions do not have. Something sea lions do not have that walruses do have. Sea lions do not have tusks. Walruses have tusks. Okay, so I want you to go over these and think of which ones you want to use. I'm gonna move this up a little, there. And I'm gonna to come to the next slide and tell you what I want you to do next. Next, I want you to write something that they have in common and then something that's different. So I'm going to write, I don't have a lined paper, I'm just gonna do it right on here. Okay, I'm gonna go Comic Sans, I'll go a little bit bigger, and I'm going to say, Wal 
walruses and sea, sea lions both, right? Something that they both have. Both have flipper feet, right? And whiskers. I actually use the word and to make my give two things they have in common. So let's read that together. Walruses and sea lions both have flipper feet and whiskers. Now what's different? <laughs> Walruses have tusks. Tusk. Tusks. And sea lions do not. Okay, so I can write it like this. I can say walruses and sea lions both have flipper feet and whiskers. Walruses have tusks and sea lions do not. <coughs> or I can make it two sentences. I can say walruses have tusks, sea lions do not have tusks. Okay, now what have I done? I've given you one sentence about two similar things, flipper feet and whiskers, two things they have alike, and then a sentence about how they are different, okay? I can write more sentences about how they are alike and different if I want to, <coughs> but I want two sentences from you, one about how they're like, alike and one about how they are different, okay? So I, I came up with Three sentences because I decided to make walruses have tusks, sea lions do not have tusks into two sentences for you, okay? Make sure when you're writing your sentences, you start with a capital letter, space between your words, and put a period at the end. That is going to make you ready for first grade. Have a great time writing your sentences. I am so proud of you. I hope this made sense. And I hope that you guys learned something about ocean animals today. Bye, friends.